Hi there, today we're looking at the if-then-else statements. We're going to cover a basic syntax for if-then-else statement in Java. We're going to look at the else if statements. We're going to look at the catch-all, which is the, uh, the else statement. So I have provided the following code. It's out there on the web, and we're going to create a program that um, can look at a person's uh, test score, and then we'll, uh, it'll factor uh, or determine their grade and display that grade to the user. So uh, let's look at uh, what this program has, has in it so far. <clears throat> right now we're using the uh, J Option Pane class, so uh, this is going to be a program that um, displays information uh, using a window to the user. Uh, here is the class declaration, and here is our method, main method declaration right here. So uh, I've got two variables that I'm declaring. One is called int score, and it's an integer. The other is uh, uh, called str input, and it's a string. Um, right here, I am using the show input dialog uh, method to grab information from users. So we're going to have a box that pops up, and it's going to say, enter your numeric test score, and I will tell you the grade. The user is going to enter their score. Uh, whatever that, uh, that number is, it's first going to be a string, it's going to be put into str input, and then I'm going to parse that uh, string into an integer using the following method right here, parse int. So uh, our number is going to become an integer and it's going to be placed into int score. So here is where we're going to place our code. Alright, so let's go ahead and change this. Whoops, there we are. So let's display the grade. So to create an if statement in Java, you just do if, and then you've got parentheses, int score is less than 60. So any grade that's less than 60, that's going to be an F. So we're going to say j option pane dot show message dialog. And we're going to say null, comma your grade is an F. Alright, the next statement we're going to do is going to be an else if statement. Again, I've got my parentheses, int score, and right here we're looking at all the grades that are going to fall into the D category, so those are grades that are uh, less than 70. So J option pane dot show message dialog null your grade is a D. Oh, it looks like we've got a little mistake right here. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. There we are. And let me fix this right here. Excellent. So I'm just going to repeat this syntax. So all I have to do is just copy and paste this to the next line. Alright, so this is going to change to 80 and your grade is a C if it's less than an 80. Right here this is going to be 90 and your grade is a B if it's less than 90. And right here this is going to be 100. And I'm actually going to make this less than or equal to 100. Since a person can make 100 and they can also have an A. So your grade is going to be an A. Here we are. So uh, this is the way that this program works. If a user types in let's say uh, the number 73 um, and uh, let's say int score is 73. We're going to go into this deci decision structure. So is int score less than 60? Well, is 73 less than 60? Uh, no, it's not. So we're going to go to the next else if statement. So is 73 less than 70? This is not true, so it's not going to execute this statement. So it goes to here. Is int score, uh, which is 70, 73 less than 80? Well, uh, yes it is. So this statement right here will execute because this expression right here is true. Now once this executes, um, the Java uh, program will then exit out of this deci decision structure and go on to what's next. And in this case, it's the system.exit command, which will let us uh, exit gracefully from this program. So if I run this program, we should have a dialog box. So enter the numeric test score and I will tell you the grade. If I type in 73, we should have C. Now, what if somebody comes along and they uh, type in a number like, let's say, uh, 205, or let's say, one, yeah, 205. 
Well, that's going to pose a problem because nothing happens. Because uh, 205 is not less than 60, it's not less than 70, it's not less than 80, not less than 90, and it's not less than or equal to 100. So it doesn't match any of these. So we need a catch all um, part of this decision structure. And we're going to use the else command to do that. So I'm going to say else. And we're going to do else um, int score. Actually, we don't need we don't need anything right there. We're just going to say else j option pane dot show message dialog, and we're going to say null <clears throat> that score is impossible. And then we're going to tell the user that they're crazy. So uh, I'm going to say j option pane show message dialog null you are crazy now if I run the program enter your numeric test score and I will tell you the grade so if I type in 105 that score is impossible you are crazy Ah, but we've got a problem here, because notice if I run the file, and let's say I type in 73, your grade is a C, you are crazy. So you are crazy is showing up regardless if uh, I type in something that's, you know, 73, that would show this statement, or if I type 105. Well, why is that? This is why J Java looks at this statement right here, and it thinks that it's separate from the decision structure. So this statement could be down here for all we care. So Java would go through this decision structure right here, go through all this stuff, and then it would execute this command regardless. So if we want this statement right here to actually be part of this else expression, then what we need to do is we need to put brackets around it. So I put a bracket right here, and I put a bracket right there. Now, if I run this program, and if I type, let's say, 76, your grade is a C, and that's it. It's not going to execute this anymore, because this right here only belongs to this else statement right here. So, this was the demo. On to the assignment.